Where's Mazzotti? Bonefish. Hey, Dougie. When was I hey. up there last? Last time I saw you was the uh, was this reunion, no? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Donnie Wilson. Oh. O'Shea with his eyes closed. This wimp wearing gloves. They made so much out of whether I was wearing the gloves, wasn't wearing the gloves. It's unbelievable. Eskimos, champions of the West, the Argos, class of the East, ready to engage in a contest of strength, skill, and will. The 84th Grey Cup is on the line. Here's Chris Cuthbert. Thank you, Scott. We're ready for the snowdown in Steeltown. So huddle up from coast to coast for what should be a terrific football game on what is a perfect late November Sunday evening for Canadian football. I am very pleased to be joined by a handful of players from the 1996 Grey Cup champion, Toronto Argonauts. This is just one of the all-time iconic classic CFL Grey Cups. I'm so excited to watch back with you guys. This is like CFL dream right now. So I think we might as well watch the game if that works for you guys. Sounds good. Fantastic. All right, Fair let's enough. dive in. Let's yeah, the, act, the idea that, the, well, right, the fact Scott, that it was snowing just made it, it was <laughs> iconic it was CFL. It was a little cold. It wasn't freezing cold, though. It was it was snow, and it was a slippery field, but it wasn't freezing cold. I mean, we played no. colder. Yeah. No. It was worse the next year, 97. Yeah, it was colder. It was colder in Saskatchewan, definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and the field was frozen. So. But I see 38 with those arms out. That's all I see. That's all I can see is the arms out. Mr. Tough guy. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Let me see if I still can. <laughs> Yeah, how many times did you have to handle the ball, Red? <laughs> um, oh. Ono, Ono, I was blocking. You know what I just realized? <laughs> I just realized we have to watch Pee Wee take a kickoff back for a touchdown. Yeah, I was going to say, can we, can we fast forward through that? No. I just don't want to watch that. Oh, Pee Wee's was a pick six. Yeah, that was late in the game. That's the oh. he, sealed, he sealed the game, they say. He sealed the game. He was sealed. it 97 yeah. you returned one, Pee Wee? Yeah, 97. Yeah. 97. First opening kickoff, second half. Four, of seven. Hey, I like your hair haircut on that. Um. Yeah, had a little more, had a little more. <laughs> <laughs> up there, but. And his first pass of the game is dropped by Paul Mazzotti. I knew I dropped the first pass. You could have cut that out. You know? <laughs> oh, Paul, that's nice, Paul. I like it. I like wow. it. Who's that guy? Uh, I think that style's back now, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I had that until just this morning. Uh, Literally, I just came off my porch. I had a friend come over and cut my hair. <laughs> I gave the kids a haircut a couple weeks ago. Oh, boy. You're supposed to score on that drive. You know, as a defensive player, I want you to score. You know, I'm not we trying always, to go out there. I mean, first drive, I'd like to look at the numbers. First drive was usually pretty darn good for us. Not so much. We had a, we had a ridiculously oh. slow, slow first quarter. Hold him up. Hold him up. Hold him up. Uh. Uh, were you, was you running to tackle him or what? I was trying to get there, man. I was Brian? Did you take Brian? <laughs> Brian implies the intent to fail. There's Pee Wee's big uh, There we go. Pee-wee. That's his only that? great cup tackle ever right there. <laughs> hey, 82, there's yeah, Little Flute. I had to get him, though. Yeah, Little Flute. <laughs> there's the brother. Yeah. You know what, uh, Doug? Just we oh, couldn't Max. see where the landmarks were on the on the. We didn't know where the numbers were, the hash marks, the sidelines. So it was tough on spacing yeah. and everything. Don Wilson. <laughs> yeah, the guys coming across uh, with the with the shovels always made me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get one clean step out of ten yards, right? By chance, did you guys watch the 2017 Grey Cup? And were, were you having flashbacks with all the snow falling in yeah. Ottawa? That Toronto yeah, game? I was there. That's I actually amazing. that was the last Grey Cup I got to. And Speaking it was a of great cup champ. Coach O'Shea. Oh, he's a, he's a coach. He's a head Dang. coach. He's a nice coach to see now. that beard. He's a great cup champion, coach. There he is. Here's McManus with time downfield, and Flutie went. I think the kid, nice. I think the spectators loved it more than anything. All that snow. Oh, they loved it. I was looking online to see a quick highlight package of this game before we got together, and there was one of a fan, and he was taking home video type stuff. They missed three field goals in this game, by the way, that I didn't realize. And Cunningham stopped at the 19-yard line. So the first opportunity to score at the 19-yard line. Argos, first down. There's a high shotgun snap. Flutie down on it, slides into the end zone. Oh, this uh, line, yeah. 
It's the second it's drive. Yeah, we started out good. Two and a half. It's the second the drive. Was that a safety? I didn't realize That's we had a safety. safety. Hey, Adrian, they're putting, they putting us on a they, – they're hurting us already, man. Exactly. That's why defense wins uh -oh. championships, Rich. We got them right where we want them. <laughs> Offense is minus two. Two and out. Two and out of safety. Oh, oh that, was, that was a direct snap. That's that what was it was. A direct so, snap. You know what, Doug? You would have got it. You would have gotten that. Yeah. Those running backs don't know how to catch a ball. Yeah. That shouldn't have been a safety. Uh, come on. I don't know. I don't know if it was or not. It's, that shouldn't uh, have been a safety. Yeah, I, I think I fell on about the two. All right. I don't want to hear anything about this right now. Oh, it's just Eddie Brown. Off the foot. The, the amazing thing about this game are the amount of skillful wow. plays, skillful plays that were made in these wow. Did you touch that, Pee Wee? I did touch yeah. that. And I remember turning in midair because I didn't want to get a pass interference call on that. So I was facing them one direction, and I turned in the last second and tipped it. Then it kicks his foot, whatever, and then he comes up and gets a touchdown. Six, and so you're like, the, the bad thing about this play, every Sounds year. Sounds like you've been practicing that explanation for <laughs> years. <laughs> every year during the Great Cup. I hate this time of year because this is all I see on TV. It comes up. And they never show the interception from the touchdown that I got my redemption back. That's the thing that ticks me off. Here's that little shovel pass inside. They give it to Cutter. These Mason. shovel passes were the play of the game. <laughs> oh, the yeah. shovel pass, because it wasn't a pure yeah. pass game. You know, we had we had the personnel to run that. We got Zeus, we had Jet, we had uh, yeah, yeah, we had yeah. I, just, I gotta say, I love these uh, these highlights of all of our mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you didn't have that Tuesday to go back and look at it. This is true. <laughs> well, we didn't have to. Go. Hey, hey, Reggie, that's not true. You know, Doug went in there after the game and watched the film. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get all my. That, that, is, that, that is true. That is true. <laughs> oh my god. I can't help myself sometimes. These oh, can see the like start, to, start to run with the ball and still lateral it out the pinball. Vandy. Vandy. Yeah, five for five in the snow. Yeah, I was yeah. just about to say, you made the point that Hamilton missed three field goals, but Vandy hit all of his field goals. He hit yeah. them all. Right, exactly. He hit them all. He hit them all the next year, too, I think, 97. Ready to take off at the other end as Donald Smith almost got to the putter. Cunningham from his 30. Across the 35, and Jimmy Cunningham's doing it again. You know what, got this touchdown in. Finding the track. Look at him in the track. <laughs> <laughs> that was the Zamboni line. That was the Zamboni line. That's my cousin. <laughs> cousin Mike first went in there. Uh, Too good. He, he caught on the track. End on the track. Oh, well. Anytime you could get going. I'm in the, get out of the way. I'm getting out of the way. <laughs> Just run north south because nobody can change directions if you're going fast. Exactly. And get in the green. I see you got in the green and said, heck with it. Not oh. Yeah, Vandy's placement, it, he didn't like to use the block. If we'd used the block, it would have been simple. I remember he used to always look for something tiny to hold in his hand to place it down on the ground. So it wasn't just a bare spot. Just because he wouldn't use the block, he used a piece of string. Use a piece just of, to know the specific spot for the, the line. Eskimos two and out their last two possessions. McManus guns it downfield. Jim Sandusky. Sandusky. And he will hey, score. Not only did he catch a touchdown in this game, half the people were using his Sandusky gloves too. Oh, I know. Which, you know what he and Darren did when I was in Calgary? It was a snow playoff game, and he, Darren, and all the guys on the team put studs in the bottom of their shoes. Look at that photo. Look at that sh shot. That's awesome. Doug, I didn't think we ever talked about those secrets. Oh, yeah. This oh, we're was, old. We're old now. That was second and 20, Mizzou. Yeah. You were running the clear route, and you that just – that's what routes became. It was just drift around and find an open area because you couldn't do anything quick. Yeah. And we would just hold as long as we exactly like you. You all right? Hey, Paul, you like all right? Look at, look at you. This was just hey, like a flying dive. Paul. Paul, you are running real Woo! too far. You're, you are moving right now, Paul. <laughs> That's a deep <laughs> end. That's a deep, deep <laughs> end. That was his speed. That was his speed all the time. <laughs> that was speed. full speed. <laughs> Paul, you. <laughs> hey, that's the Flutie jump. Yeah. The, the double leg pump. Nice stiff arm. Hey. I did. I, I would say that in snow conditions, I ran tougher because nobody could get their feet under them to really blow you up. 
Like this score a touchdown, no field goals, touchdown, well, we, touchdown. We, That's we, all we're looking way, for. <laughs> way too many field goals in this game. There we go. Because on defense, all you want is score touchdowns, tell us touchdowns. That's a perfect example of uh, us just pushing everyone one side, and Doug goes, oh, I'm just going to run. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I had that same look in, that, in a playoff game at Calgary and stepped up through, and it was wide open. Like, geez, that was an ugly kick, but I guess it went through. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it opened up like that, but then all of a sudden someone was opening back in the end zone, so I lobbed it to it, and the ball ended up getting kicked. And that flashed through my mind as I took There we go. Time. Bring it out. Get it out of there. Oh. This was just before the half, though, so he's saving us a point. We put a lot of pressure on them because we went a lot of empty stuff where we had five guys. They had no belt, backs helping them block. We did slide yeah. stuff, whatever it was. But there was a lot of pressure on Mike to make the call. Oh, we look, had five yeah, look at O'Shea. Look at O'Shea. Ooh. Yeah. We put a lot of pressure on Mike. Up that's, on that's, 38. that's 38 again. We had some good guys, and we could <laughs> communicate. One thing about our offensive line, we really communicated well. They could understand my little grunts. Uh, is that what you call them? Little grunts. Little, little grunts. grunts. And again, a little housekeeping. And, and Doug Foody is down there cleaning off the turf for Mike Vandejet. I'm surprised you weren't down there blowing on that turf to get it warm. Hey, he just needed his plant foot. Yep. Vandejet is three for three. And the Argos' lead now is a converted touchdown. Less than five minutes gone in the third quarter. That snowy Ivor win, 30-23, Argonites. I remember times where Doug would sit there, we, and by the third, fourth quarter, he'd sit there and he'd go, all right, guys, remember this play? Yeah, okay, you run that, but you wide receiver over here, you run this, and then a running back, you do this. And I'm like, Doug, 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 what kind of protection? Uh, thank you, protection. Okay, go. <laughs> that was the thing. I put a lot of pressure on you guys all the time. Well, the first quarter into the second quarter, a little slow. And then after half, you really pick it up. What changed? I think it just, we started, or I started getting a feel for how they were defending yeah. us. And realized, I got to the shovel pass stuff. And you couldn't do a pure passing game. Um, stuff that I like to do is timing, rhythm, balls out, balls out. And that wasn't happening. And because of the way they'll turn their back and they play four on three on one side, four on three on the other, we had them outnumbered. We had them outnumbered if we could run the shovel pass or something straight ahead and crease them. Yeah. I think you said it earlier, Pee Wee. It basically was this, was Doug would, would see what's happening out there, then he'd direct his people, and we would just do it because after a while, you know, first quarter, second quarter, you're still trying to figure out who you're playing, how you're playing, yeah. and, and the field. Reggie, I see you. I see you, Red. I see. You saw that, right? I, I saw you, Red. I saw it. I saw you come around and pull. I, I, I do it all, man. I do it all. <laughs> hey, once we got to, to know what we were doing, Jimmy worked. had a couple big plays, man. <laughs> a couple big plays. Yeah, yeah I was also, definitely a called play by Flutie. Yeah, yeah. that was cool. I got more conservative because we were up by a score. We needed to make sure we at least get the field goals to stay up by two scores. And I think I got a little more conservative play calling wise. We could have gotten a little more aggressive and scored a few more touchdowns. Well, this game, this game had a lot of big plays in it too, right? So yeah. you say if you have a lead after so much in the fourth quarter, it makes sense just to, you know, but they, make make good plays and keep the ball, keep the clock. They going. return the kick here, don't they? No, they did that yeah. earlier. They did that early after Jimmy the Jets uh, return. They returned the kick. Oh, that Gizmo, was, yeah. The Giz. Hi, Drummond. I tell you what, Drum had amazing games in both breakups. He was, oh, he's a, he was a horse. Yeah. Whoa, literally. Oh. Is this Tolbert? Hey, nice job watching, Reg. Good pat on the horse. Well, home. you know, I had to come from the other side, you know. Okay. And plus, you have other offensive plays you were in, too. So you look Yeah, good. you know, I, I'm, I never leave the field. That's, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's because you were too tired. See, now you're like, like, I'm on it now. You're all around the ball. <laughs> you, you, they, say, they say you just find the ball. Yeah. You got a half a tackle for that. Yeah. You know, a lot of you know where the camera's at. That's all that matters in these great cups. Just know where the camera's at. Hey, Pee Wee, was Eddie Brown <laughs> talking smack out there? No, no. He was more cold than anything. <laughs> <laughs> I know that for a fact. If he was warm, he would be talking smack. But he didn't really, yeah. he didn't really say too much. 
Oh, speaking of Cole, remember Chris Perez? He played, he was the other tackle, correct? Oh, yeah. Remember, he cut oh, his yeah. pants off ah. after this game with Sharks. He cut his pants off and just took them, he cut them right off. He <laughs> yeah. could have Sharks. Oh, we're, oh, it's so cold in the in the locker room afterwards. Shoot, we got, yeah. I think we got dressed in the shower because a whole, the whole, uh, all of our families were in the locker room. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I yeah, Iverwood didn't treat us right. We didn't get the nice locker room, that's for sure. Edmonton are exhorting the defense. Flutie, pressure on, dumps it off. Double pass. Oh, man. Woo! Woo! That was kind of overhand shovel pass. Yeah. yeah. Gotta love the Flutie mullet, though, too. Uh, I was just trying to keep my head warm. <laughs> and off the left side. Did hey. you not get that? Hey, hey Flutie, hey. Flutie had the Tiger King cut before. <laughs> the Tiger King. <laughs> Doug, Doug Exotic. Doug Exotic. Do not put in his cat, <laughs> hey. please. Uh, didn't, Coach, didn't Coach Matthews have a mullet at one time? Sure did. I bet oh, you yeah. too. I That's think you got you and Doug. I think I think got that from you, Doug. <laughs> Save the sides up. Third and a yard. Here we go. Ball's loose. We're down. Hey. Everybody, this has turned into they picked it up and ran it back for a touchdown and it got blown dead. That's handy gate. See that? That's my point. Okay, you realize you made a mistake. The ball was loose. I found, just mark it short of the first down and give Edmonton the ball. Hey, Doug, quit complaining. We got the ring. I hear you. Hey. <laughs> Doug, I don't. I, I don't recall none of that. I didn't know we had a first down. That's all we I remember. Got a first down. Still, we would have had plenty of time either way. They would have had to have scored. Blah blah blah. He looks a little upset there. See, if you follow 38 over here, he's over here blocking no one. Let's see if he touches anybody, 38. <laughs> oh, look, look at that. Look at that lane I gave you. <laughs> that ball, that ball's not loose. What are you talking about? Uh, you see that down. My knee was down. Back. That defensive line sliding back. Let's see. Where's Dougie? Here we go. Oh. How do you refocus that? Come on, John. Two hands drumming. We're fine. I I just I'm worried now that if we kick this field goal, we're only up six. Right. This appears to be from 27 yards out, and Vanderjet has made another five on the day for Mike Vanderjet and Don Matthews and the Argos have a six-point lead. And Danny McManus, who was perfect on the last drive, six for six, goes to work, delivering pick. There we go. There you, Pee -wee. Oh. That's what he was waiting for. That's what he was waiting for. See, see, Reggie, I was there with you, was there with you buddy. Johnny Johnny Harris. Brody. Find the camera. Find the camera. Brody, tell yes. your NFL people to start playing this one more after they show the Eddie Brown catch. Yes. You want to the game right here. This is your big moment. I know, I know. You redeem yourself. Wait, wait, what are you guys doing? Hey, what, 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 that, remember, remember Alex Gordon? Ride the train? Yeah. Come on, ride that train. <laughs> ride it up. Oh, Adrian, how many times have you watched that play? Listen to that call. Uh, when I was younger, a whole lot. Yeah. Now it's, it's on replay in his bed. <laughs> it's a it's running in my house. It's, it's replaying right now in the background. <laughs> <laughs> got a picture of the dance move in, in the end zone on his wall. I knew what that happened earlier in the game. Obviously, I was a little down, a little devastated, and you don't want to be the reason to lose the game. So the whole t rest of the game, I was just like, you know, play your position, do what you're supposed to do, and if you have an opportunity, you know, to make a play, to make a play. And then when I had that, I knew exactly when I threw that number one up, I knew we had, we had won the game. We were up by like seven or nine or ten or something like that. So I was totally conscious of what that play meant as far as the Great Cup victory was concerned. So while you guys are out there on the field now trying to ice this thing, we're up 13, there's a minute to go. Last Great Cup I had won was 92 with Calgary, and my wife and I didn't meet up for a good 45 minutes until after. So with a minute to go, I already made eye contact with her in the stand. She came down. She's sitting in the dugout on the sideline now left her 80-year-old mother up in the stands with our next <laughs> There's Laurie. She's down in the dugout. Oh, my God. There's she's 12 years old. <laughs> she's still nervous. Look she's at her. nervous. She's still around. She's been watching <laughs> you. On on the ball. <laughs> hey, Doug, yeah. while you're kneeling this down, let me tell you my Laurie story. I used to love when Laurie would come and visit, but I love when she'd go away because Doug used to let me drive her Corvette all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but they all gather around him before the game. He gets them jacked up. 
He's a great guy. I mean, the Tom Pate Award winner this year. This was a 4 and 14 team last year. 15 and 3. Double blue and Grey Cup champions in 1996. Doug Flutie and the Toronto Argonauts. No, I never got on the stage at all this game. I remember I never got off the stage. Everybody was on the stage. I was doing something else. I never got on the stage. Well, neither did I. Reg, I think I was with you. That's because you were so tired for playing the whole game, Reg. You know. That's one thing about playing in the snow, though. It made great pictures. Wasn't this our Christmas card picture or something? Yeah, it was. The Argo, the Argo Christmas card, you're right. Can we redo this? There's too many officer guys on the stage right now. Can we yeah, redo this? Don, Don picked, picked the five or six people at the beginning of the game. He said, okay, when we win, you, 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 and you are getting the cup. <laughs> Thanks. I never, I never got that picked. I'm sorry. I never got that one. Does it feel like the cap on a legendary season? Like, are you able in the moment to understand what it meant, given what had happened that whole year and what had led up to it? It's just, um, you can't stop smiling. You're happy with your teammates, all you've been through all year. You don't, as a big picture, maybe not. For me, I had trouble enjoying wins a lot. And to me, it became more of, it's over, I'm relieved. And I was always jealous of the players that could really just let loose and enjoy it and because I never really felt that way. To me, it was, I always felt like I had a lot of pressure on my shoulders. So to me, a lot of times it was like a relief. But you're right, Doug. There's a lot of pressure to win because we had such a great team. So it was almost like we were supposed to win. Mm -hmm. And right. I think in 96, it was probably my ninth, 10th year. And we had won in 91. And, and it's nice to win for the younger players as well. And, I, and especially when we went back in 97, when we won the Eastern final 97, my first thought was how cool is this for the younger players, for them to experience something they've never experienced before. Cause at that time, luckily enough, it was uh, my third time to the great cup, but it was, and it each, that's why each great cup's different. It meant something different. Zadi, you hit the nail on the head with that one because 96, 97, I was a young guy, right? So I'm third and fourth year in the league. I'm jumping up and down, screaming and so excited. Yeah. And in 2004, I just sat back and watched all the younger guys, you know, enjoy it, right? And I didn't even yeah. really celebrate as much. I just wanted, I was enjoying them enjoy the moment. So I, I understand yeah. what you meant by by that. This was my first. This was my first win uh, up there, and you know, it was it was awesome. Um, but the the biggest thing about it, it was from the start. One thing about Matthews, what he puts in your heart, in your mind, in your thought process was you were going to win, you were going to, and your goal was to win the Grey Cup, not just to get there, not just to be good. So I, to me, it was an expectation. And I, much like Doug, it wasn't a huge joyful thing because I was expecting it. And mm. we to accomplish that. Once we accomplished it, it was that to me. Then, then it was the pressure came the next day, you know, when everything relaxed a little bit and we got to enjoy the moment. But yeah, I'm a lot like Doug was, we were expecting this win. My first year, Doug, I'm going to get on you a little bit because I was in the Baltimore Stallions. Yeah. We played y'all in the Great Cup. Mm. <laughs> and we won. So, uh, yeah. But, yeah, but I, was, I was hurt that year in 95 when we played in Saskatchewan. Not, yeah, Saskatchewan for the Great Cup. So it was a little different now I'm coming back. But also, I was that extra. I got traded to Saskatchewan and, and Don got me back and brought me to Toronto to join the team in 96. So when the Great Cup, actually playing in the Great Cup, was meant meant a lot more for me that that year. But that was my sack one in a row playing with playing with um Don Matthews. So and being around him, and his system, especially on on defense. And I like I played rush in, I played corner, but not corner, but linebacker. I played on offense. So that he let me put all my athletic talents out there and to play different things. It was fun, and we had like I said, we had no curfew. It was fun. The locker room was was always we always had jokes going on. So that's the beauty in that. You don't get that too much now. And then going into '97, like, we did the exact same the exact same feeling. My final question before we wrap, since it was such a fun team and no curfew, and what was the party like? Did you guys have a good time that night? Who's the partier in this group? <laughs> this group's not. The I don't party know. Yet. I don't know, Adrian. Who's the party? No big Grey Cup party. Oh, the, the, well, the Grey Cup party. All I remember was everyone dancing to. Uh, tub thumping. Uh, that was all I know this it was like Vegas. We can't really say everything now. I, yeah, well, know, I, I have Dandy. some stories, but some of that you can't. We can't say. I, I just <laughs> had Bishop and Dandy up on stage dancing his ass off. I remember two things. I remember Donnie Wilson dancing to the Michael Jackson song. 
And then I was smoking cigars with my dad, with Marcelo, and with Drummond. So that's all I breakup pad I had in the locker room. And uh, it still smells like the champagne. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. That was remote reunion with the 1996 Grey Cup champion Toronto Argonauts, one of the best teams of all time. 